It's an engineering marvel that defies belief. A massive international airport built on a man-made island in the middle of the sea. But now, this $21 billion mega project is facing an existential threat that could see it disappear beneath the waves forever. Today, we'll take you on a journey through the turbulent history of this incredible structure, from its construction to its recent privatization and the ongoing race against time to save it from sinking into the sea. In the late 1960s, as Japan's economy boomed and the demand for air travel surged, the need for a new airport in the Osaka region became increasingly apparent. However, the challenges of finding a suitable location for such a facility soon became clear. The existing airport at Itami, which had been in operation since 1939, was rapidly reaching its capacity limits, and the dense urban development that had sprung up around it made further expansion nearly impossible. Faced with the need to build a new airport from scratch, planners and engineers began to explore a radical idea — the construction of an artificial island in the middle of a Osaka Bay. This bold vision, which would require the reclamation of vast tracts of land from the sea and the development of innovative engineering solutions to overcome the challenges of building on such unstable ground, represented a new frontier in airport design and construction. Despite the enormous technical and financial hurdles involved, the Japanese government and the Kansai region authorities threw their support behind the project, recognizing its potential to transform the region's economy and cement its position as a global transportation hub. The decision to move forward with the construction of Kansai International Airport on an artificial island was a testament to Japan's spirit of innovation and its determination to push the boundaries of what was possible in the realm of engineering and infrastructure development. It was a bold gamble, but one that would ultimately pay off in the creation of one of the world's most iconic and advanced airports. One of the most pressing challenges facing Kansai International Airport is the problem of subsidence. From the moment the artificial island was created, the immense weight of the materials used in its construction began to compress the seabed, causing the island to sink at an alarming rate. Initial estimates predicted a subsidence of around 8 to 10 meters, but the reality proved to be far more severe. To combat this issue, engineers devised a clever solution involving over a million adjustable piles driven deep into the seabed to support the terminal and runway. These piles, combined with a sophisticated system of hydraulic jacks and sensors, work tirelessly to maintain the platform's balance and slow down the sinking process. Despite these efforts, the airport continues to settle, requiring constant monitoring and adaptation to ensure its stability in the face of an ever-shifting foundation. At the heart of Kansai International Airport stands a true architectural gem, the terminal building designed by the renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano. Known for his innovative and visually striking designs, Piano brought his signature style to the airport, creating a structure that is as functional as it is beautiful. The terminal's undulating roof, inspired by the gentle waves of the surrounding sea, not only adds to its aesthetic appeal, but also serves a practical purpose by facilitating air ventilation throughout the massive building. At 1.7 kilometers in length, the terminal is one of the world's longest buildings, a fact that necessitated the installation of a monorail to allow passengers to traverse its expansive interior. Piano's design masterfully combines form and function, creating a space that is both visually stunning and highly efficient, capable of handling the millions of travelers who pass through its doors each year. The construction of Kansai International Airport was a project of unprecedented scale and ambition, and with that ambition came an equally staggering price tag. By the time the airport was inaugurated in 1994, the total cost of the project had soared to over $20 billion, a full third more than the initial budget. This astronomical expense was primarily shouldered by the Japanese government, which sought to recoup some of the costs by implementing high landing fees for airlines using the airport. As a result, Kansai International Airport quickly gained the reputation of having one of the most expensive landing taxes in the world, with fees nearly double those of other major airports like Charles de Gaulle in Paris. 
These high costs had a significant impact on the airport's operations, forcing airlines to revise their flight schedules and leading to a reduction in the number of flights to and from the airport. Despite its innovative design and advanced engineering, Kansai International Airport has not been immune to the forces of nature. The artificial island on which the airport is built lies in a region prone to seismic activity and severe weather events, putting the structure's resilience to the test on numerous occasions. In 1995, just a year after its opening, the airport faced its first major challenge when a devastating earthquake struck the region, killing thousands and causing widespread damage. Thanks to its advanced seismic resistance system, the airport emerged unscathed, a testament to the foresight and skill of its designers. Similarly, in 1998, the airport weathered a powerful typhoon with winds exceeding 200 kilometers per hour. Once again, demonstrating its ability to withstand the worst that nature could throw at it. These experiences have provided valuable lessons for the airport's operators, informing ongoing efforts to bolster the structure's defenses against future disasters. As Kansai International Airport's popularity grew, it quickly became apparent that the original island would not be sufficient to meet the increasing demand for air travel in the region. To address this issue, plans were put in motion to expand the airport by constructing a second artificial island nearby. This ambitious project, launched in 2003, saw the creation of a new island measuring 535 hectares, slightly larger than the original. The construction process mirrored that of the first island, with vast quantities of materials being transported to the site to fill in the seabed and create a stable foundation. After four years of tireless work, the new runway was inaugurated in 2007, significantly increasing the airport's capacity and allowing it to operate around the clock. This expansion proved to be a game changer for Kansai International Airport, enabling it to accommodate a greater number of flights and passengers while also enhancing its profitability. However, the cost of this growth would soon become apparent, as the airport grappled with the financial implications of its ever-expanding infrastructure. In 2016, faced with mounting financial pressures and a need for significant investment, the administrative region of Kansai made the decision to privatize two of its major airports, Itami Airport and Kansai International Airport. This marked a significant shift in the management and operation of these vital transportation hubs, as control was handed over to a joint venture between the financial services company Oryx and Vinci Airports, a subsidiary of the French conglomerate Vinci Group. The partnership was awarded a 44-year concession, running until 2060, with the two companies each holding a 40% stake in the venture and the remaining shares held by local businesses. Vinci, with its extensive experience operating airports around the world, was appointed as the primary operator of the airports. The privatization of Kansai International Airport and its sister facilities represented a new era in their history, one that promised increased investment, improved efficiency, and a renewed focus on growth and profitability. However, the transition to private ownership was not without its challenges, as the new management team sought to balance the needs of the airport with the expectations of its investors and the demands of an ever-changing aviation industry. In 2018, just two years after its privatization, Kansai International Airport faced one of the greatest challenges in its history when Typhoon Jebi, a powerful tropical cyclone, made landfall in the region. The storm, one of the strongest to hit Japan in a quarter century, brought with it devastating winds and torrential rain that wreaked havoc on the airport and its surrounding infrastructure. As the typhoon raged, an out-of-control oil tanker was thrown against the bridge connecting the airport to the mainland, causing significant damage and forcing its closure. The airport itself was inundated with floodwater, which caused extensive damage to its electrical systems and other critical components. Thousands of passengers and staff were left stranded at the airport, cut off from the outside world until emergency evacuations could be carried out. The aftermath of Typhoon Jebi served as a stark wake-up call for the airport's new management team, highlighting the vulnerability of the facility to extreme weather events and the need for significant investment in its 
its protective infrastructure. The lessons learned from this disaster would go on to inform the airport's future development plans, as it sought to build greater resilience in the face of an increasingly unpredictable climate. As Kansai International Airport works to secure its future, it has also set its sights on a new horizon, the Osaka World Expo 2025. This prestigious international event, which will see millions of visitors from around the globe descend upon the city, represents a significant opportunity for the airport to showcase its renewal and reaffirm its position as a leading transportation hub in the region. As the main gateway for tourists attending the expo, Kansai International Airport is expected to play a vital role in the event's success, and preparations are already well underway to ensure that it is ready to meet the challenge. The airport's ongoing renovation and modernization efforts have taken on new urgency in light of the expo, with an additional $500 million being invested to upgrade facilities, increase capacity, and enhance the overall passenger experience. As part of its ongoing efforts to reposition itself as a leading destination for international travel, Kansai International Airport has embarked on a bold new strategy to introduce a touch of luxury to the travel experience. Central to this plan has been the development of a new shopping mall within the airport, designed to offer passengers a curated selection of high-end boutiques and dining options. As Kansai International Airport continues to evolve and adapt to the changing demands of the global aviation industry, its embrace of luxury is a clear signal of its determination to remain at the forefront of innovation and excellence. While Kansai International Airport has made significant strides in its efforts to enhance security and improve the passenger experience, it has not been immune to the occasional high-profile incident. One such event that captured international attention was the daring escape of Carlos Ghosn, the former CEO of Renault, from Japan in December 2019. Goen, who had been arrested and charged with financial misconduct, managed to flee the country via Kansai International Airport, allegedly by hiding in a large audio equipment box that was loaded onto a private jet. The audacious nature of the escape, which involved a team of accomplices and took advantage of security loopholes in the airport's cargo screening processes, raised serious questions about the facility's ability to prevent such breaches. While the Carlos Ghosn affair may have been an embarrassing episode for Kansai International Airport, it has also served as a valuable learning experience, one that has prompted a renewed focus on security and a commitment to continuous improvement in all aspects of the airport's operations. Kansai International Airport stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Despite the constant threat of sinking, financial woes, and natural disasters, this floating marvel continues to adapt and reinvent itself. As the world watches, the race is on to save this $21 billion mega project from disappearing beneath the waves. With the upcoming Osaka World Expo in 2025 and the ongoing renovation work, there is hope that Kansai International Airport will continue to serve as a beacon of innovation and resilience for generations to come. Only time will tell if the efforts to save this engineering wonder will ultimately succeed. But one thing is certain, the story of Kansai International Airport is far from 